Hello, friends. Today we have come with a fantastic horror film called The Cursed. During the Battle of the Somme in 1916, a wounded French captain with three gunshot wounds in his abdomen is brought to a medical tent. During the surgery, the surgeon discovers an extra fourth bullet made of silver, not of German design, inside the captain's abdomen. The story then shifts 35 years back to 1881 showing a cruel real estate businessman named Seamus Laurent burning down a Romani tribe that had been occupying his land in rural France. The leader of the tribe had anticipated such an event and had commissioned a set of silver coins melted down into a set of silver teeth with sharp fangs for a wolf, which he used to cast a dark spell on the business family and all the townspeople involved in their eviction. However, the leader of the tribe and another Romani are captured and the Romani man is dismembered to serve as a warning to the other Romani. The leader of the tribe is buried alive with the silver fangs of a wolf in his fist. Shortly after, Seamus's children, Edward and Charlotte, along with other children in the town, are plagued by nightmares of the evil wolf and the silver teeth. One day while playing, a boy named Timmy tells the other children where the silver teeth were hung, promising to keep the secret and find the silver teeth. Timmy embarks on a quest to discover them. Edward tries to stop him, but Timmy becomes aggressive, biting Edward's throat with the sharp teeth in his mouth, causing the other children to run away in fear. Upon learning of this, Seamus immediately tends to the injured Edward while Timmy's whereabouts remain unknown. The doctor suggests that Edward may have been attacked by a wild animal in the woods, and that night, when Charlotte wakes up to Edward's scream, she sees him entangled in wooden vines emerging from his body. However, she chooses not to reveal Timmy's secret. That same night, Edward disappears. As a result, the church becomes interested in performing an exorcism, and Charlotte confronts Timmy, who claims not to remember what happened after wearing the silver teeth. When Charlotte asks Timmy what he did with the silver teeth, he tells her that he hid them in the church. When the maid, Anais, discovers this, Timmy runs into the jungle, where he is pursued by an animal that leads him to a hut and eventually takes his life. On the other hand, pathologist John McBride is visiting the town to gather information about the curse and meets with police Lieutenant Alfred Malia, who has been summoned by Seamus to search for Edward. After meeting with Seamus, they head towards the same hut in the jungle where Timmy was taken. Half-eaten bodies are being found. Malia believes that Edward's disappearance means he has already been killed by the same creature that attacked Timmy, so there is nothing left to investigate in the case. However, he is willing to stay and help Seamus. That night, an eerie wolf-like creature attempts to approach Seamus but fails. The next day, the creature attacks three people in the town. Two of them are killed. But the third, Annie Marie, survives despite being severely injured and handicapped. It is revealed that although Annie Marie escaped the attack, she was bitten by the creature, and John rushes to the town. But by the time he arrives, Annie Marie has already transformed into a zombie like state and is infecting others by biting them. John manages to trap Annie Marie, who has turned into an animal, to prevent her from biting others and he is conducting tests on her. As Annie Marie angrily screams, John insists that she cannot be saved and suggests shooting her. John explains his test results, leading Seamus to believe that Edward may have undergone a similar transformation, and if he is found, he may have already turned into an animal. John informs Seamus's wife, Isabel, that her wife and daughter were killed by a similar creature. Since then, he has been investigating the Romani tribe because he believes they have cursed his family. Isabel also reveals that Seamus had exterminated the Romani tribe and sent them away, leading the tribe members to curse him and his relatives. Charlotte finally tells John about the hidden location of the silver teeth, which John melts into four silver bullets. Meanwhile, a creature attacks Seamus's maid. Anais, and cuts her, but she manages to hide her wounds so that she won't be killed. John follows the trail of evidence from Anais's attack to the maid's room, 
where an AI has already transformed into a creature and is attacking him, causing a candle to fall and set the house on fire. Seamus manages to kill the creature an AI has become, but he is also infected. Knowing that he has turned into an animal and is now a threat to his family, Seamus is about to commit suicide in front of John. John takes Isabel and Charlotte to seek refuge in the church where other townspeople have also sought shelter to protect themselves from the creature attacks. After everyone falls asleep, Isabel prepares to confront the creature to protect her son. She is praying, and from outside the barricaded church door, she can hear the voice of Edward, calling her and asking her to open the door. Despite Isabel removing the barricade, the creature enters the church and starts playing with the blood of the townspeople. John is seen attempting to shoot the creature with a silver bullet, but Isabel stands between him and the creature, calling out to Edward with hope that he will return to his normal form. After observing the other creatures, she realizes that Edward is still alive within the creature and may be saved if he manages to come out. However, the creature attacks Isabel as well leaving John with no option but to shoot. The bullet hits Isabel and the creature, causing both of them to fall to the ground. As Edward emerges from the creature in his normal form, Isabel dies while hugging her crying son. With the death of both his parents and the loss of all their property, John takes care of Edward and Charlotte, returning the three remaining silver bullets to John. In the end, it is revealed that the badly wounded French captain is actually a grown-up Edward, who had turned into an animal during his childhood. He had been shot with four silver bullets in the church, three of which John had returned, but one bullet remained lodged inside him. And that's where the movie ends. If you enjoy the film, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video.